Greetings people, I'm Traveling, and today we're going to take a closer look at a couple different things. There are multiple node projects that are upcoming that I wanted to mention real quick in this video, as well as something that I recorded before I started traveling about BlockDark, and everything in here is linked down below, of course. It's not financial advice, duh. But as a short overview, you probably know Maria, as we made a full video on this before, and when it comes to notes, this is one of the biggest ones. As well as Agent Layer, they're going to launch their notes, I think by today slash by tomorrow. Whenever they're live, I'll make a video about this. And then also something that I've heard about for the past like four or five months, and I finally decided to make a video on later as well. And this one is kind of like the pre-announcement, which I usually post in Telegram, which is free to join. Link is down below as well. But now let's start with Block Dark, what that is, and then move over to Ago D. It's a proof of work consensus mechanism that intends to reinvent the cryptosphere with its cutting edge directed acelic graph. They prioritize security and an eco conscious environment, but they already get over 10 blocks per second and aiming to achieve over 100 blocks per second, making this a lot faster than most of the blockchains out there. They make it user friendly, multi layers. What do they solve? They're a bunch of key challenges that they have when it comes to decentralized networks. They make it much more secure and scalable. And with the mining rigs that they have called X series, they make the whole mining part of lot more energy efficient, which right now is one of the problems for Bitcoin mining as most of the older generation of miners, like two years old and older, are unprofitable because electricity costs more than it makes. But if you simply make it more energy efficient, then they last a lot longer. For that, they got four different miners over here in the products overview for X1, 10, 30, and 100, which is an app that you can download on your phone. So pretty much all of us can have that for sure. And then there is the X10 as an entry level miner, X30 to make this a lot more high powered, and then the X100, which has even more power consumption than my PC. It would give you up to 2000 B deck right now, which at launch should be around $100. But then, with the speculation that they and other investors make, this can go between like five cents at launch to like $100 in the future. Kind of like when you click on Bitcoin and all time, there's an insane percentage up there as we start at five cents, similar to B deck, and then go up until we'll find out. Then, with everything that they have in here, you can also say it's a passive income opportunity with their miners, the app that they have using the coins, taking them. Or participating in the giveaway and here's how the math behind the numbers works we get 150 billion tokens total 50 billion of that for the pre-sale with 9 billion sold so far so 41 billion or 82 percent are still up there one percent for the team which is like nine percent less than most projects and the remaining 66 percent for the community allocation for mining community building as well as liquidity pools and they are supported with 100 million dollars in liquidity alone at launch are being backed by top tier market makers now, there are a lot more words on the left-hand side for everything that they do. There are easy D-app integrations, low-code or no-code templates can be used as well, and a whole lot more. If you go to their Twitter, links down below, they also have this update video over here as like a keynote video launch speak, you could say. So all the important information is covered in there. But we are mostly focused on that point over there, where there's a $2 million giveaway, which you follow them, submit your wallet, finish a few of these quests, and then invite friends if you want to. They're awarding 50 people with an insane amount of money, and you could be one of them. You can also lose, but you never know. And then you can both buy the pre-sale right now, which is still like a 7x lower than the launching price, as we launch at 5 cents and we at 0.75. Or you can even buy the miners if you like the passive income side a lot more. All you gotta do is connect your wallet and then buy that. Keep in mind for the miners, we have three in total that are like physical, and one that is simply an app on your phone, so you can use that as well. And later down the line, something that I'm really interested in right now are crypto cards in general. So you can use your crypto in real life and pay with that, as it will then be available for you to withdraw money from pretty much any ATM out there in the whole world and use your magic internet money in real life. Which then would also mean, let's say you have a miner that is connected to your wallet for your coins and you get like 2,000 coins a day or $100 if you get the big one. Then every single day when you go out with your card, you kind of have an allowance of $100. So by setting it up once, you could technically, for $100 a day, ignore the price of things, walk around in real life with your card, and just get things, which makes the world a little bit more free. For that, you gotta register for the card, deposit funds on that card, including ETH, Bitcoin, USDT, and so on. And you can do that without KYC. Sometimes when it comes to KYC, you're blocked in certain countries, simply because the government says so. But in here, they simply say no, and it works easily. Back in 2009, we originally got Bitcoin. Then like five years later, we got ETH. Like 2020 was the year of Solana when it started. And now maybe if there's number four, we got Block Deck in 2024, which could go similar and give you a 2.5 million percent return on investment. Or it doesn't. I mean, the entire thing, everything is random. It's crypto after all. But if it does, nice. And if it doesn't do, 
then the app is still free on your phone and this is also free to participate and you might just like the idea of using a card in order to pay for things in real life so we got three things that are built on top of the project while also having miners we have the coin we have the upcoming launch and all the other things in here but we did make a video about ego DeFi before as well this is like a reminder of what they've been up to what they're doing all of that number one thing that you see on the site is that you can buy crypto buy card instantly and this becomes more and more important moving forward because everybody who joins crypto it's great at all that you make money in crypto but if you can't spend the money Eh. So they made it easier for you to join the blockchain revolution. You can now buy digital assets with a credit card or with wire transfer, which then also means if you click on the Ago card, you can get their own debit card later on, which means instead of just using your card to pay into crypto, you can reverse that and take the money out. It simplifies the crypto experience by connecting traditional finance and DeFi, pre-order the card today. With Ego and their token, you can take control of your own money, where in this case, you join them and you own the platform as well as earn commission. That is how the token is structured. And on the D app, you can click on Connect Wallet in the top right corner, select MetaMask, for example, and you can then use the D app in various different ways. You can buy, swap as well as send. Let's say you want to buy crypto in here. They allow you, as you can see, without KYC, to use a credit card or wire transfer or Apple Pay, Google Pay to make a payment and then receive crypto in your wallet. They have then staking available as well, which you can join the pool for X amount of days for like two and a half months, five and a half months, as well as 11 and a half months in order to earn additional percentages on your AGO staked. There's futures trading available as well, which means if you ever traded futures and traditional finance on different exchanges, that can be done in here as well. As their main motto is, you don't need banks anymore. With AGO, invest in crypto, manage your money. So they pretty much to the decentralization thing that all the other projects and exchanges talk about because normally they say we are decentralized yet there's a main office and it's not your keys not your crypto it's just an account you create but in here it's your metamask you earn a percentage of the revenue as well for holding the token there's no kyc this is the actual decentralization while most of the other exchanges and projects simply use the word because it's popular they're also working on getting it on pancakes up at the moment as well as max c by the time this video comes out, it might be there already. And they recently posted this one, which I found is pretty interesting. When it comes to big influencer and celebrities and the coins that they launched over the last couple of years, pretty much all of them are done. Which means if you ever see influencers and political figures and so on and so forth launch anything crypto related, it's probably garbage. Because I've seen a bunch of those recently when it comes to Solana meme coins. Don't get into them. Their staking system also reminds me a little bit of TokenFi and Floki in which 50 to 60% of the entire supply at any given point is staked. We can lock your tokens for three to 24 months. And in TokenFi, for example, as we talked about a few times before, that is now from 10 cents up to 14. Yes, it was 15, but you know, market goes up and down. And I would assume something similar to happen with AGO as well, is they control the market cap and circulating supply fairly well with those staking offers. It doesn't mean we get 300,000% in one year but as we are also around the 14 cent mark with a much smaller market cap this could perform pretty well obviously not financial advice but links down below they have lots of cool things coming up the idea actually makes sense compared to most other things in crypto and i also made a full video on it so watch that in case you're interested now let's talk about maria i talked about maria the last time when the notes were around four thousand five hundred dollars when you go into the maria site and you sign into your wallet over here you will see that the price of one single note is now at six thousand four hundred dollars so we got this like $1,900 cheaper than it is right now. And the single note at the moment makes about 1,310 tokens every single day or about $7.70, which is still pretty good considering this one is down like 60% from its all time high like four or five months ago. That means if we go back, which shouldn't be that difficult considering everything they do, and we go beyond that, then a single note makes like 20 to $30 a day fairly soon when the bull run picks up again, gaming becomes so popular, Alex Becker makes some videos about gaming. It should go well. Now the current return on investment would still be like two and a half years, which for anything in traditional finance would be insane and crypto a little slow, but we don't talk about right now. We talk about the potential and the future. Now, what did I do? I used to have one single note. If we check this dashboard now, you can see that I got three in here. Now what I tried to do is connect them to a virtual server. It worked for the first one as this has been running for about six months. The other two, I think, require their own virtual server. It's like $20 a month or so. But even right now, this makes like $220, $250 a month minimum. So without having to operate the software on my computer by myself and simply having it running 24-7, this will make like 20 something dollars every day. Now that's great and all, and you've probably heard about Maria before, but what's the reason? Why should you get a note? What are they working on? If you think about Steam, Steam is pretty big. 
Epic Games tries to do something similar and onboard Web3 games. Myria does that natively, powering over a million users. You trade with zero gas fees on their layer 2, kind of like using Immutable Axe as there's also no gas fees on there. And now with the magic of AI, where everybody can launch whatever they want to do within a couple minutes, if not hours, for more complicated things, it will be easier than ever to launch games or even integrate Web2 games into Web3 and then put them onto a gaming platform. That's the gaming platform for that. Think about it this way. If you thought this would have been a good investment or something to get into about a year and a half ago when they launched their notes originally, now after over a year of building and developing this, it can only be better than it was a year ago. The team behind it is doxxed, they get people in here from all the big companies that you know, and with a market cap of around 115 million, this is a lot lower than similar gaming projects, or I would even say games alone, as just Axie, as not a gaming platform but one single game, is still at over a billion dollars right now. That doesn't mean that Maria beats Axie, but if one single game is 10 times the size of a whole gaming platform that can onboard games like Axie, and this one builds the infrastructure, but the other one is one single game, this has the potential to do quite well. Now in that case, if that potential would unleash and they reach Axie's current market cap, then a single note doesn't make $7.70 a day, but it makes over $75 a day. So if you were to get a note, accumulate the tokens, do nothing, and wait until a certain time in the future in order to sell, you will get a return on investment within like three months or so. Now that's all hypothetical, but I would assume over the next year and a half of this bull run, something similar happens. Plus, because they are a big company, they have a lot of connections, people know about them, and so on and so forth, even when it just comes to attracting venture capitalists and all the rich people that have billions of dollars, they are on that level of quality, so I would say nothing in crypto is guaranteed. But is it that hard to believe that they might get like a $15 million investment from some venture capitalist here, or like $30 million from that company, or they get bought up by some other company? Maybe Amazon decides to get into gaming in Web3 and they're like, here, billion dollars, we take it. I don't think that's hard to believe, and that's why I got multiple notes. Plus, it's always... I wouldn't say better, but it feels better on the inside. If you get something that is already established instead of something that has potential that isn't out yet. This has been operating for a year fairly well, and I personally like it, not financial advice. Also, as a side note, I gotta set up two more virtual servers because one single one couldn't handle all three. For that, I use a site called Vulture. I'll probably link it down below. Use one, connect it all good. Now, because we talked about notes, there are two more ones that I will make a full video about by today and tomorrow, and those are Agent Layer and Sato Chain. Now, for Agent Layer, I used the original version of this about a year and some months ago, as the idea is pretty interesting, and that is you use AI agents, which is now powered on the blockchain, in order to solve your test. For example, if you want to say, I want to analyze the last 10,000 videos uploaded about crypto and put them into categories, then you can tell the agent what task it's supposed to do and then it launches their agents that work underneath this AI to accomplish this task. So agent number one might say, let's create a list and a spreadsheet. Number two says, let's analyze. Number three says, let's put this into percentages. And for that, we have a green cube in which you can get the Agent Layer Premium Governance Note starting on June 3rd at 4 a.m. UTC. I'm going to get two notes in here as well. As I do work with the team, I will ask them politely if we can give away one note too. For that, in my Telegram group, just click on one of the reaction things for my latest message and I'll pick a random winner until you get a free note. If I get one, that is. And maybe we do, because the more people join, the higher the chance, and then we get free stuff. Speaking of free stuff, the other video I'm gonna make, probably by today, tomorrow, it's about Sato Chain. This has been around for like three, four, five months. And different marketing guys reached out for this probably like three times in the past. And I said no all three times, but now the original account reached out. So I thought, eh, why not? Let's see how it goes. As it's the first optimistic rollup for Bitcoin Layer 2, which integrates the Rune standards. And in case something like a Bitcoin ecosystem becomes popular again, as that was hyped at the end of last year, I think, then this could potentially go well. However, the things they try on building, they're coming soon. And all you can do so far is mint and buy the NFTs, as well as get those rune NFTs over here that act as a node. I'm not sure how long they have been live, but I got three of those myself. And in the past day and a half or two days, like 10 of them have been sold. So either they haven't started marketing yet, or there's a reason why nobody bought this, if you know what I mean. So when it comes to this one, I'll mention it again in the video. 
giant triangle disclaimer, your money might go away. As it's great and all when, you know, people make projects and they promise that we're gonna have those different things over here and we have staking, airdrops, NFTs, all the fancy words. But if nothing is being built, nothing exists, then it's all hopes and dreams until something comes true. I still got three of those NFTs and I even have my own discount code, which is Melos in full caps that you can apply after you connect your wallet first and then you get like 5% off, I think. But then again, like most things in crypto, nothing is guaranteed could go to zero or never make any money or it becomes like a 20x and we are super early. We'll see. I mentioned again in the video about that. That being said, links to everything down below. And I will now prepare to edit this, go for a walk, come back, make a video about Agent Layer, edit that as well, upload everything, update the links, and then enjoy my vacation in Japan, which I will mostly walk around today and do nothing else. So take care.